Thank you for choosing SolarWinds. My name is Ray Francis Bassa. And uh, welcome to Understanding the Universal Device Polar or the UNDP. And in this session, we will talk about the UNDP home screen functions. All right. So in the uh, UNDPs define your Universal Device Polar home screen, which comes up when we click on the new uh, Universal Device Polar button. We have visibility of the uh, OID right here, the name, the description. We have uh, radio buttons for uh, keep historical data. We have uh, radio buttons for status. And uh, we do have uh, a drop down box for a group. Now, the OID right here is a standardized uh, references assigned to both network objects and some characteristics of these objects. It allows you to directly access specific data about virtually any network device. And device characteristics may be represented as either individual values or as tables of values. And each value or table is uh, represented by a unique OID. And Universal Device Polar uses OIDs to access a variety of settings and performance statistics for any device on your network. Okay. Now the name, the name is the registered uh, name that is assigned to an OID. Now, if you provide an OID, Network Health and Performance uh, Monitoring feature pulls the associated name from the registered OID details and uh, fills this field out automatically. Okay? And then we have the description. So, although the description is not really required, this is the description provided with a registered OID. And if you fill in an OID, Network Health and Performance uh, Monitoring feature pulls the associated uh, description from the registered OID details and fills this field automatically. And then we have historical data. So with this uh, Keep Historical Data section, we select yes if we want to view performance trends on your network in charts and reports within the SolarWinds platform web console. Next, we have the status. So the status, um, uh, this option is enabled by default, okay? This radio button is your on or off switch for the polling of this polar. You may switch it off if you no longer need the custom polar that you created, but then you may turn it uh, back on manually if you need to enable the polar again, all right? And then we have group. So what is this for? Now, uh, the group helps you properly organize your polars. If you see on the left navigation pane right here, we have the section for all defined polars. Now, the example folder that you see here are the uh, out-of-the-box group for custom polars. And when we create a new universal polar, especially if it's the first time that we're doing it, the default group does not exist yet until we save the um, uh, custom polar that we are creating. And by then, under group, you will see that default group is going to be selected and it will be created under all defined polars. That is where you will see this. But if you click on the drop down box, you also will see example in here. Or if you wish, you can create a new group specifically for the polar that you are creating. All right. Now, let's take a look at a quick demonstration of uh, how the OID, the name, and the description actually automatically fills out. All right, as we select the OID that we want to create a custom polar for.
With that, let me go ahead and open my SolarWinds platform real quick. So this is my actual server. The Universal Device Puller is one of our uh, back-end application which can be accessed by going to the actual server itself, click on Start, look for SolarWinds platform, and uh, the Universal Device Puller has the green leaf icon which you can see right here. Open it up, say yes to it, and this is what you will get. Okay, give it a few moments, and here we go. Okay. Now, as we click on the new universal device puller, this page comes up, right? And uh, the OID, the name, and the description fields are blank. Now, please notice that uh, we can we can uh, automatically um, uh, type in the OID, which is, uh, in my case, I will be using the one that I have searched for here, which is the uh, Add Trend Devices Memory Heap Size uh, OID. Okay, so you see how the name and the description fields were automatically filled out. Okay. And uh, this name and the description field can actually be filled out automatically as we type the OIDs one arc at a time. So the uh, the 1.3.6.1.4 is the OID for the private and private is actually a folder. Okay? And the uh, one right there is we call that one arc okay three is another arc six is another arc and so it's the one and the four and every number that you see there is what we consider an arc okay now if we continue like uh 1.4.1 please notice take take a close attention to the name and the description field because whenever they are available they will automatically be filled out all right that 664 add trend device dot five add shared dot fifty three dot one dot four dot that CPU utilization dot seven heap size. And as you notice, as I type one arc at a time, it displays the names of the subtree of the OID tree and provides the description when available. And uh, the keep historical data right here, by default, the value is yes. Status enabled is the default value as well. And notice the group. Default group, now when I click on next, take a look at this. And I will select uh, add trend device. So let me see if I could uh, test this against any of these two devices right here. We should see green checks when they apply to these devices right there. So it checked out. Now I can go click next and say I will need this to be under the, uh, the chart for no detail summary. Click finish that will appear in our uh, SolarWinds platform. And here is the polar that we created. And that's under the default group. Before we only have uh, Cheryl's and example uh, uh, folders under all defined polars. Now we added default group. And those guys are the functionalities that we have under the define your universal device polar home screen. Once again, my name is Ray Francis Bassa. Thank you for choosing SolarWinds.